Proteins are vital organic compounds found in all living things. Enzymes, for example, are proteins that command cell metabolism and make the cell be what it is. There is no known biological process that does not involve a protein. Proteins are formed by amino acids, organic molecules of amphoteric character, that is, capable of reacting with acidic or basic behavior. This property derives from two organic groups present in the structure of an amino acid, the carboxyl group, responsible for the acidic character of the molecule, and the amine group, responsible for the basic character, hence the name amino acid. They all have an amine group and a carboxyl group, in addition they must have at least two carbons in their structure, and may have different radical groups attached to the alpha carbon, which is the one that attaches to the functional groups. Radical groups, also known as side chains, are what differentiate amino acids. There are 20 types of radicals that combine to the alpha carbon of an amino acid. So there are 20 types of amino acids. Proteins are polymers of amino acids. The units of a polymer are called a monomer. In this series of videos, the monomers will be represented as a sphere. Each amino acid corresponds to a monomer. Between two amino acids, a condensation reaction can take place between the carbon in the carboxylic group and the nitrogen in the amino group. For this to happen, dehydration must occur, that is, the release of a water molecule. After dehydration, the amino acids are left with atoms with free valence. When the free valence in the carbon of one amino acid meets the free valence in the nitrogen of another amino acid, a covalent bond occurs between them, called a peptide bond. The reaction between two or more amino acids gives rise to a molecule called a peptide, in this specific case a dipeptide. A new organic group also appears on the molecule formed as a result of the reaction, the amide group. The fusion of two monomers, such as amino acids, results in a dimer. Thus, several amino acids can be linked into an ever-increasing chain. increasing the level of complexity of the molecule. The types of amino acids in the sequence in which they are linked together determine the characteristics of a protein. This sequence is determined by DNA through the genetic code, as we will see later. This is the first video in a series on protein synthesis. To follow the continuation of this series, subscribe and activate notifications.